Well, wheels, it's been real but it's time for a new home. What's going on guys? We got a really exciting day planned for you guys. I'm not even gonna spend all that much time talking to you in this garage right now, but the one thing that I absolutely have to talk about, the thing that is imperative, is the fact that this video is gonna be amazing. And the fact that all the enthusiast merchandise, all the colors, all the sizes, all that great information can be found in the first link in the description below. I have one of the OG styles, some might say, but we have all these new colors and all of the new designs. It's something I'm very excited about, as you guys can see. Yes, I'd say that I'm just a little bit excited about everything coming to a head. It's like a pimple that's ready to be popped. That's just the most graphic, disgusting thing that I could ever envision for something exciting. But you guys get what I'm saying. I'm really pumped about it. Enthusiasts, first link in the description below. You guys can grab this shirt. This is the holy grail. It is the most American design that one will find. And, 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 you guys are watching this video, well, just a little bit after I recorded it because, you know, it's kind of hard to get the whole editing thing in and then say, uh, huh, you guys know what I'm saying. But at this point right now, in real time, not so much in vlog time, but real time, I have a certain level of confidence that I'm gonna have the new giveaway in my possession. I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's white, but it's not the Mini Max. I'm sorry, not this time. Maybe one day in the future we'll give away the Mini Max. Who knows, things could get a little bit wild. Now that I'm done ranting about pretty much everything other than what the video is, we need to get these wheels and tires loaded up and get on the road because today, boys and girls, today, boys and girls, we are reviewing one of the sickest Denali's on the East Coast. And I don't know if it's like the sickest Denali, but I'd say that it's a pretty dope truck that I think a lot of you guys are gonna enjoy. It's basically my 15 LML Chevy in the form of Denali. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna talk through it. It's got some sick performance mods and it's for sale. You guys can get it at LRA Trucks, Lime Ridge Automotive, they are always in the description of my videos. You're at work miscellaneously killing some times in a stall. No, we never do that. Jack, come on, let's be honest. It's a great site to go on, especially if you're in the market for diesels. They've got some really killer stuff there. Time to turn the old Mini Max A around. Pretty cool if it was canned like my vet, but that was just my foot mod. <clears throat> At an eight foot bed is the bee's knees. Way better than a six foot bed. If it isn't your style, not a problem here, boys and girls. this truck up I was not lying to you guys check out this Denali this is the truck that I would build if I had the GMC brand well let's just not tell the big LML that I'm over here with this absolute beauty if you guys are unaware I picked up my mini max from Lime Ridge Automotive which is ever so conveniently located right off of route 283 in Lancaster County 
in a little town by the name of Mount Joy. Mount Joy, Pennsylvania is this lovely hub between Harrisburg, Lancaster, and the Turnpike is not that far away. So what I encourage that you guys do right after you watch the video of this sick truck that we are gonna take out today and explore their inventory. Toys R Us is out of business. Yes, I know we're all a little upset about it, but what's good is we've grown, except some of us mentally, and now it's Trucks R Us. If you guys wanna find Trucks R Us, it's this lot right here. So you're probably wondering, wow, Jack, you are especially excited today. Well, yes, I am. I'm feeling good. I had a great day. There's a really cool story about this truck right here behind me. And the cool story is the fact that it was once owned by my good friend, Bob. Bob grew up in my hometown, as a matter of fact, and, and he reached out to me when I just had an Instagram at the time and said, dude, I just bought this Denali. I did a Cognito four to six inch lift. I noticed that you're trying to sell your 22 by 12s. Are you interested? Now I said that I had 22 by 12s and 35s. So here's your positive reassurance. The thing that's so cool about this truck, aside from the fact that it's freaking mint, these were once my fuel forged FF12. So from this perspective right here, I could feel like I'm looking at my truck in a pastime. Same wheels, same tires. These are the trail grapplers. 32550 R22s and this is what my truck used to look like just envision a bow tie on the front and a little bit of a smaller grill if you will that's exactly what it looked like so Bob picked my wheels and tires up off of me and installed them on his truck and they have been on it ever since now he did decide to sell this to move into another vehicle and he had his fun with this one and now it is for sale at Lime Ridge Automotive so enough talking enough back history let's get into this thing We've already covered the wheels and tires. They are sick. I love them. They're a forged wheel. They look really good. I'm all about simplicity, and I feel like that wheel is exactly that. Now, you might ask, can I run this nice 22 by 12 with a 32550 on a stock height truck? And you, sir, are out of your mind for asking that question because you absolutely cannot. So what we've done is we've made it a nice Cognito 4 to 6 inch lift, the NTBD standing for no torsion bar drop. You maintain all the beauty of the exterior styling because you don't have that, I don't know, somewhat inconvenient torsion bar drop. Now he did choose to do the, the gold standard, if you will, the Fox shocks. They are an option when you go to buy the Cognito 4 to 6. I did the Bill scenes, love them, but this truck has the Fox shocks, so you're gonna know that you are getting the best. And of course, on the back end here, it's got a very small spacer in the leaf spring. It's about an inch. It's the same thing on my truck. And I'll give you guys my honest testament because you know that I don't lie to you guys ever. And I would never put my name on something I didn't believe in. The lift kit on this truck is the creme de la creme, is the gold standard, is what you'd want to buy if you were going out and buying a lift brand new. So let's take a walk back here real quick. What else can we highlight on this thing? There are so many different angles and so many things to go about. It looks like the front valence was removed, which I actually really enjoy. I think it's a nice touch because it exposes some of what you want to show off underneath. You got that nice Cognito badge on the front cross member extension. Looks really, really good. Now, these headlights seem to be built. I don't know who they were built by, but it looks like it was a really nice job. Standing here in the sun, the paint is almost identical. Plus, you get this nice little Denali luminescence, which is pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and give this a double tap real quick. So it looks like we have the switchback version and switchback LEDs on the turn signals. And then if we fire it up real quick with our nice remote start, you've got the switchback functionality to go to your nice 6K luminescent LED for your signature Denali styling. Wow, that is that is cool. I like that a lot. Honestly, a little bit envious right now, the fact that, well, I like these headlights a little bit more than my truck. It also seems as if we have some aftermarket fog lights. LED, you cannot beat the quality parts that Bob used on this truck. Also, a nice exterior compliment is the fact that he did get his mirror caps painted. These are chrome, as you guys know, and as mine are on my truck, but he got them painted to give the exterior styling that true cohesiveness. It really ties it together. Now let's get into the really exciting part of this truck. To those of you that have been with the channel for an extended period of time, you might recognize that turbo kit. 
Yes, this is exactly what I had on my LML. I told you guys I am not playing around when this is basically a spitting image of my LML, except in Denali form because it's got the Whirly Custom Fab S369 SXE kit equipped on the truck. That is an absolutely awesome turbo that I used to run. Honestly, from some lights, it kind of looks illusion purple. This is what's called illusion blue. Imagine that, so many similarities. With the black WC Fab badge, my oh my, does this look good. So we will cover more of the driving dynamics when we go out and actually take this thing for a spin. But I also think it's worthwhile to note the inside of this truck. We have the nice Coco Dune leather interior. Guys, we're talking about a Denali here. This thing is fully loaded. It's only got 31,000 miles on it, almost 32. We're talking the Virgin Mary of diesel trucks right now, guys. It's funny, knowing the previous owner, he was the kind of guy that literally left the freaking peel-offs on his instrument clusters. Yeah, you wanna talk about an immaculate truck? It's the one that I'm sitting in right now. Now, from an interior perspective, this truck is pretty much identical to mine. It's got the heated steering wheel, something that my truck did not have, and I really wish that it did. So how about some exhaust clips? are curious I am pretty much at full lock and there's no rub in this thing whatsoever you tend to run into some difficulties especially on these square fender trucks when you put big wheels and tires on but this was done right oh that is a beautiful thing look at that no rub at all nice Alright guys, so I hope that that gives you an outstanding idea as to what this truck offers. It was really nostalgic for me to get out in this thing, because like I said, 
those buggers right there are my old wheels and it feels pretty cool to just be able to interact with something that's so similar to what my truck once was just in this form and honestly guys this is an awesome opportunity for one of you to take home an absolutely outstanding truck if you're interested in it i'm going to put all the information in the description below i'll even go as far as linking you guys directly to this truck but what i advise that you do is you check out lra's inventory let's just let's just do one thing here real quick one quick activity let's just consider it a little bit of a recess here yeah I know we're all upset about Toys R Us and how it went out of business, but this is Trucks R Us, and there are unlimited possibilities. Now, speaking of possibilities, would you guys be interested in uh, me potentially rendezvousing with this beast of a Duramax? Lovely Duramax. Beast of a Duramax right here. Drop a comment below. I think, I think what I might do is I might go inside real quick, grab the keys to this thing, and just see how it feels. But if you guys are interested in seeing a review of this truck, and if I can align with my schedule to get back out here, if this truck is still available, I will do a review on that one for you guys. Drop a comment below. I'd we'll definitely be interested to know your thoughts. So that about drains the swamp on this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Something a little bit different and something that I can reassure you that will occur and will continue to occur in the future. There's a lot of options around here, which opens up unlimited possibilities. My Like League, I love you guys. Do what you do best. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, go ahead and do so. And I promise you guys, I promise, I will see you in the next upload.